Hi there, thanks for letting me know about the audio service not responding. I understand how frustrating it can be to experience sound issues on your device. There could be a couple of reasons why this might be happening and we can try two things to get your audio back up and running. Number one, permissions check. Sometimes the audio service might not have the necessary permissions to function properly with your current user account. We can adjust these permissions if you would like. Important note, modify the registry can affect system stability if done incorrectly. So create a restore point before proceeding because we are editing some registry files as well so for a restore point you can just click on the windows search icon and then search here for restore point once you are here you need to make sure turn on the protection first for there select or choose any drive where you want to you know restore few cache so click on the uh, configuration and then turn on system protection and then hit apply and then okay your protection option will be on and now you can create a restore point in the same uh, drive where you have turned on the protection now click on the create you can type here the any name and then click on the create the restore point was created successful that's good now type here the registry editor okay now that's the destination we are actually we are working on but before starting any process let me show you that my current setting is working fine so here i have a what's going on in this video i'll show you it's working fine I hope you can hear this. Yes. So, my audio is working fine, but now we are modify few settings over here on this destination. So, what you need to do here? Go into the computer, then H key local machine, then software, then Microsoft, then Windows, then current version, then MM devices folder. Once you get the MM devices folder, just right click on it, go into the permissions, and then go into the advanced settings. Now here you can see the owner is audio SRV which means the audio service services we will change here if it's not working for you click on the change use here the administrators and then click on check click on check once it is done click on ok now replace owner or on sub containers and objects hit apply and click on ok now once again permissions now you can edit the permissions over here you can see easily you can edit these permissions but what we are gonna do here first of all you need to select here all the permissions like this for all users and then hit apply okay that's it only you, these things you need to do here all right guys now in the step number two what we are gonna do here click on the windows icon again services open the services and then select any service press w until you will get here the windows audio service over here just double tap on it go into the logon and then what you need to do here click on the browse and then again advanced options and then click on find now here you have a list of your uh, permissions let me expand it a bit now the first one is administrator the second one is the email that i'm using with my operating system then default account then case then local then error service then a lot of others okay now we will say select here the uh, account or email that you are currently using if it's not working then go with the default if still it's not working then reset it on local services and then click on ok and then click on ok once again now here you need to put the windows password if you have if you don't use windows password with your uh, account then you need to just leave it empty in my case i'm using password so put here the same password and then click on apply and that's it once you have done this click on ok and then click on the restart 
that's it guys after restarting your audio services you need to restart your pc as well and uh, i hope this information help please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any further question thanks for watching see you in the next video allah hafiz bye bye